triple his first basket of the game. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Wiggins against Westbrook. Wiggins drives in. Butler gets to Towns. And the dunk by Towns. And you can see that Butler is the total package. Solid at recognizing when one of his guys is open. And watching Jimmy Butler, he just offers so much on offense from a scoring standpoint. You know, obviously he can get to the rack and, and draw the defense to him. Also really improved his ability to knock it down from beyond. Just a complete offensive player. Now here's Anthony. Pulls up on the wing. Nice jump shot. Good. Abrinas has got five now. Melo good at scanning the entire floor, and that's why that time he found the open teammate. The shot by Butler, nobody around. No good on the three. And Greg, as you said, Butler is a threat to score from any part of the floor. Uh, it's a bit of a dying art, though, hitting that mid-range jump shot. Butler also does a great job of getting to the line. That's increased over the course of his career. Just a well-rounded offensive player. Now Westbrook, after Jimmy Butler missed from long range. Westbrook drives in, shot off the pick. Adams, and it's Adams on the follow. Adams has got his second basket of the night. And he's shooting the ball very well, in addition to creating for both himself and his teammates out there on a roll. Wiggins against Westbrook. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And still varying opinions out there of what Andrew Wiggins can and can't do. But one thing that's indisputable, he's an incredible scorer. Uh, whether it half court transition, he can flat out fill it up in a hurry. Now here's Westbrook. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. George, no good. Right now, he's just out of sync. A lot of shots rimming out, and he's got to try to find something different. Second shot opportunity. Not going to go that time. Good D by Westbrook. The pass to Abrinas. Back to Westbrook. 32 seconds left to play in the first quarter. The shot by George, wide open. And Adams kicks to George. The offensive rebound. The kick out to Westbrook. Buries it from three-point range. Westbrook's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Westbrook against Wiggins. Now here's Crawford. Not a lot of room. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Steven Adams picks one up. But when you're on defense, hands up and antennas up with Crawford, constantly looking to get himself to the free throw line. Kevin, these are easy points. Remember, free throws. And first time of the game called for Oklahoma City. Yeah, you know, some of it's shot selection, some just bad luck, and they just can't get anything going. Coming out of the timeout, let's see if they go for the outside shot or if they look to go inside, try to build some confidence by seeing that ball go in. Here's Abrinas. No good on the buzzer beater. It's a tie game in oh. And a guy who seems to improve every season. It's crazy because I've never thought that. It's hard to doubt the dedication of Jimmy Butler. He's found a way to overcome obstacles at each important point along the way. You know, he's a self-made player. And if Butler can stay healthy, boy, the sky's the limit. And so far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter up and going. And when you consider how the Thunder are doing, guys, what do you think? I tell you what, that first quarter, you can see the game plan is a commitment to offensive rebound. Well, their efforts have been rewarded here after one. Winning the battle over second chance points has them ahead on the scoreboard. On the court for the Timberwolves as our second quarter is underway. They've got Jimmy Butler. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Crawford. Then there's Towns, and it's Bialica in at the four slot. you got to make that. The defense was far from terrible, but, man, that's an easy shot. Abrinas, the pass to Westbrook. Adams sets the pick for Westbrook. Anthony in the corner. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. 
Westbrook's got three assists now in this one. And we have so many great spot-up shooters in this league, but from what you've seen, who are some of the best shooters off the dribble? First guy I think about, Kevin, is Kevin. It's Durant, though, not you. I know you're a great shooter. I was. I was a good shooter. <laughs> But Kevin Durant's efficiency after transferring over from OKC to Golden State, it's really remarkable how much he's learned to play without the basketball, yet still having a career-efficient year. Him off the dribble is dangerous for anybody. And the rejection by Town. And there's the whistle called a clear path foul there. Yep. And he'll shoot two at the line. The Timberwolves gone four for five from the charity stripe in this one up to now. I love the complimentary aspect of this group now. You know, you've got the young talent, but you've brought in some veteran leadership here for the Timberwolves. The duo of, of Wiggins and, and Carl Anthony Towns kind of gave the confidence to them to go out and acquire a superstar in his prime like Jimmy Butler. And, and guarding him on the perimeter isn't a priority for them right now, but if this continues, it will be. Now the feed to George. Oklahoma City moving it around. Outside Westbrook. Back to Abrinas. And nothing is falling for him right now. And Greg, the core of this Timberwolves team is Wiggins and Towns. And, you know, rarely do you get to see two number one overall picks team up early in their careers. And how about back-to-back -back years? No less. Uh, but I, I consider Jimmy Butler kind of a foundational piece as well. He's in the conversation for the best shooting guard in our league. Now here's Crawford. Dishes it to Wiggins. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. And it's a three-point Timberwolves lead. And really it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Sinks the triple. Abrinas has got the game tied up here for Oklahoma City. There's just no excuse to leave someone that wide open. Communication breakdown. Kicks it out to Crawford. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. One fifty-two left in the second quarter. George dishes to Westbrook. There's a good screen. This one for three. It's rebounded by Towns. Towns has got three rebounds so far in the game. Higgins outside. Butler from outside. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Adams has got six rebounds here tonight. Left side, George. A three. And it's George again missing. Minnesota's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. Crawford outside. Fires from deep. The elite to misses. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. And Adams kicks to Westbrook. Here's the screen. Pass to Ferguson. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. The Timberwolves have gone just 33% from the field in what's been a cold second quarter for them. Just three of nine. In the corner, it's Crawford. Wiggins against Westbrook. Adams with the screen on Butler. Pass to George. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Six points for Paul George. And there's never been any question about George's three-point range. He just goes through stretches where he knocks down the three at a ridiculous rate. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout. And they let things get out of hand. Good time to reconvene.
Yeah, they're just on the wrong end right now of a big run, and they need to plan how they're going to shift the momentum of the game. In a pretty tough. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. We so hope you enjoyed our first half. Ernie Johnson, a competitive matchup for Oklahoma City in the first quarter. Nothing seemed to give way on either side of the scoring column as they wrapped up the period all knotted up. The second quarter was a tight battle, but they were the slight. That's it for now as the second. The third. You've heard the rumors, Brent, the death of the big man, but with guys like Towns and Porzingis and others entering the league that can play on the perimeter and still have that length to make a difference inside. Could we see a big man renaissance or at least maybe uh, see him have more of an impact than people are giving him credit for right now? Well, I think what we're seeing is the evolution of the five spot, Kevin. So it's, it's not that the big man is lost. It's that the big man's doing a lot of the things that the little man used to be asked to do, and that is shooting threes, handle the ball, make some decisions, at the top of the key be a playmaker it's fascinating to watch guys with this sort of size and this sort of skill and also being this young having such a tremendous impact for the organizations they're playing for on the wing Zabrinas and George Adams is out there with Anthony and it's Westbrook in at the point that's Billy Donovan's five as we get going here in the second half the Thunder leading by five Side for George. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Westbrook's got assist number five here tonight. And, and the advantage they have starting to increase. Things are coming together for them at a really opportune time. Coaches always talk about the first five minutes of the third quarter. They have definitely increased their energy level here. Here's Wiggins. He has six. Feeds it to Towns. Five on the clock. Back to Wiggins. Inside. Trust me, big guys hate playing against Steven Adams. He's a nuisance on the defensive end, and that time changed the shot. Now Crawford. Pass to Bialica. Butler kicks to Bialica. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. They look frustrated. 0 for 3. Not how you want to start the third quarter. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. And the Timberwolves, a team that is evolving how you imagine they would with Tibbs running things here. Deliberate approach on both ends of the floor and really looking to dominate the rebounding margins. Now here's George. They lead by 8. That's the biggest of the game. Shot clock at 3. Anthony. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. And now the Timberwolves on the break. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A, a, a scene of confusion right uh -huh. there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. This now to Towns. Trains the three-pointer. Towns has got 12 points in the game. Greg, in the areas you just talked about, rebounding and pace, the Timberwolves are very much where they want to be. Yeah, the, the team just looks to make the most out of their possessions and, and try to beat you through efficiency. They have players that can get easy transition points when the opportunity presents itself, but in general, they aren't trying to speed the game up. Another miss by Town. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Westbrook with it. He's got five. Anthony in the corner. The kick out to Westbrook. The three. A shot off that time. And Minnesota will come the other way. One fifty-seven left to play in the third. There's Crawford with the three. That ball's ice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got his third assist on the night. Adams with the screen on Buck. So here's Westbrook. They set the pick to the middle. Layup off the pick. 
And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one is on Towns. Well, the Kiwi Adams, born in New Zealand, was the Thunder's first-round pick back in 2013. Steadily coming into his own now on the offensive end. And a bit of a bittersweet question for you, Brent. We know you spent so many years with the Sonics who eventually were uprooted and became this Thunder team. How badly would you like to see Seattle hit a basketball team again? I think it's the NBA's mission to get back to Seattle. And under Adam Silver, he's asked questions about the return to the Emerald City. And I, I think it's going to happen, Kevin. If it does, I'd love to be a part of what the organization does up there. I do miss the PNW. That's the Pacific Northwest. Here's Crawford following the basket by Russell Westbrook. Crawford outside. And it's Towns penetrating. Ayalitza passes it to Crawford. Here's Towns. Wiggins dishes to Towns. Butler from outside. He had told him by Adams. Just a little lackluster so far with his effort. He's been very limited due to his poor shooting. Screen by Adams. Outside, George Anthony in the corner. Wiggins against George. In the corner, it's Westbrook. Those three pointers off the mark. And the Timberwolves call time here. Paul George really making a difference here. The defense has to take the ball out of his hands. He's just knocking down every three pointer he takes right now. They tried to shoot their way out of the slump, and that didn't work. They, they got to go back and regroup. Well, no matter how hard it's been, you want to stay positive, stay focused, and well, maybe a couple shots will get you right back in it. Timberwolves trail by seven. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Crawford kicks to Wiggins, and Belyta has it in the corner. That balls. Ice feed that time from Wiggins. Violets has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Right side, Westbrook. And here's George for three. A shot missing. Butler. That one misses. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Thunder lead by four. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. And now we take a listen into the recent huddle from Tom Thibodeau. When all we're doing is thinking about our offense. And thanks for joining us again as the fourth quarter of play is set to get rolling. It's been a close battle to this point. Now here's Westbrook. All right, now a chance to set the floor courtesy of Peter. Oh, oh, wow. Oh. Hello. It's a beautiful jam. I know it's just two, but man, that's a nice two. Westbrook with the insane creativity. Well, the chase for the triple double last year with Russell Westbrook was one of the most incredible seasons the NBA has ever seen. And I think that everybody who's a ball player thinks about the point guard rebounding as tenaciously and as consistently as Russell did last season as being the most incredible part of his season. Screen by Adams, off the screen, and it's George finishing it off. Yeah, you see the athleticism George had on that dunk. It's so quick and explosive. It's to the rim in an instant. Now here's Wiggins. Towns in the corner to the left side wing. Here's Pilate. Here's Wiggins. And it's Wiggins with the jam. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys. Still shaking. And Westbrook has always been a great rebounder, but that was seemingly the most surprising aspect of all of his triple doubles. Yes, yeah, six foot three inches tall and leaping out of the building and over the top of guys six eight, six ten, and snatching boards. His previous high for rebounds was under eight a game, which is impressive in its own right, but what a huge jump to grab over ten in a triple double season. Still remarkable stuff. A lot of people look at Russell and think you roll the ball out and with his athleticism and tenaciousness, he just takes it over. But 
the guy hits the film room. I mean, he studies up. He wants to know about his opponent. He wants to get better as a performer, get more consistent. So there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes with Russell Westbrook. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And for Westbrook and his watching of film, he isn't looking for what he's doing on the floor. Rennie says he's gaining an understanding for everyone else. I think that kind of approach is pretty heady, don't you, Kevin? And the fact that Russell not only wants to improve himself, he wants to have a better understanding of every aspect of the game. That's his decision-making. That's where his teammates are finding success on the floor. Defensively, how teams are matching up with him. Now, that's a lot to take in on top of the responsibilities he already has for this Oklahoma City team. Might want to stop shooting from out there right now because it's just not working. He needs to look to get his teammates involved at this point in the game. Outside, George. Anthony, no one around. That falls. Nice speed that time from George. And it's eight points for Carmelo Anthony. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. Wide open shot is on the money. And good passing setting up a lot of these buckets right now Kevin that's been the key Westbrook with it Butler covering Crawford with the steal and an intentional foul right there yeah not sure what that was about I mean talk about a brain cramp a little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter there's the pass to Bialica and that's why he's one of the best two-way wings out there. George will lock you down on D, and it takes a very special effort to get off a clean shot against him. Off the pick. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. And the Thunder lead by 15. Butler on the way. Takes a three. Sinks the triple. Brett, you were known for your leaping ability. You won a dunk contest. We all remember it very vividly. During the pre-draft process, did they measure your max vertical? They did, Kevin. At the Chicago pre-draft camp, you run through a series of tests there. Your conditioning, uh, how your CO2 gets kicked out. They put the, the mask on you and check your stamina. There's a bunch of doctors in there poking and prodding. I won't go into detail about that. Thank you. But they did measure the max vertical uh, during that Chicago pre-draft, and it was about 39-inch vertical leap, so not Oof. too bad. Not too bad at all. This guy is so tough to guard. He feels like he could take any challenge that the defense is going to throw at him. Westbrook with it. Butler covering. Here's a Brinus. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. So they foul intentionally. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Time goal here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. They're leading by 11. 114 left to play here in the fourth. A chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Russell Westbrook. He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything has been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hand. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. And that is one thing he does very well. His intensity on the glass helps lead to these high percentage putbacks for his team. Outside Anthony. Butler against Westbrook. Kick out to Adams. And the rejection by Town. And his foot movement is what makes Town such a terrific shot blocker. He moves so well and can defend just about any position on the floor. And here's Westbrook. Ask to bring us. Looking for Adams. He gets it there. A ferocious and power. Stephen Adams on the inside, taking it out on the rim. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Crawford's shot is good. And so the Thunder now can just hold on to the ball. Let's try this. 